So looking at the imperial meter first, which um, I have one here, which I can show you, this meter clearly has a clock face uh, with a rotating uh, needle on it. And so therefore, on the registration, we can click yes to um, the meter type having um, that uh, clock face. So now you look at the clock face and you look to see what type of uh, meter dial it is. And you look to the very top of the meter dial to see what number is there. And you'll see either the number one, the number two, or the number 20. And in this instance, we've got a meter with the number one. So we just click the checkbox on that. The system then asks for the meter reading. So we can go in there and this meter is showing seven, four, two, three. Having put in your meter reading, you can click next. So to install to this meter, you need to use the B plate, which looks like this and has two holes, circular holes, in it. Before installing, you should use the alcoholic wipe to wipe clean the surface of the gas index. This is to ensure that the adhesive tape sticks well to the front of your meter. Okay. When fixing the B um, adapter plate, it's important that it should be fitted between the centre of the dial and the black tick lines. So to do this, you can rotate the plate around and you can align it looking square onto the meter to ensure that it's positioned correctly as such. To fix the plate, simply peel back the paper removing the tape strip. Make sure that you are aligned square onto the meter to position the head in the right place between the centre of the dial and just above the black ticks. And then hold it there for 10 seconds to ensure a firm adhesion. There we go. And that is fitted to the meter. You then peel back the tape on the sensor head and it fits into position on the adapter plate like so. And that's how you would install the gas loop onto an imperial meter.